Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what is the best VPN ad blocker. We're going to be testing out various ad blocker capabilities from various VPNs to help you guys to decide which one is good. Now, I actually got an email from Surfshark with them touting their ad blockers capabilities, and we're going to be putting that to the test today as well, showing you guys what the difference is between a couple different VPNs. As always, if you want to help support the channel, there'll be links for these VPNs tested in this video, um, as well as links for some of my other favorite products as well, like my Secret Labs chair, if you do want to help support the channel by buying one of those. Just to be clear, guys, none of these VPNs were sponsoring this video or paid to be here, so this test is completely objective. All right, guys, first off, this is the page that I'm going to be using for this video. It's some kind of GitHub open source way to test how capable your ad blocker is. Right now, I'm running just flat Google Chrome, nothing on it. So we're going to be seeing, you know, what it can do um, just by itself and pretty much nothing. As no surprise, it's only 12% capable. All these ads and trackers are getting through, so it's not good. This is kind of like the benchmark test. So let's go ahead and test out a top rated VPN on the channel. TorGuard is the top rated VPN on the channel. Amazing VPN provider, great speeds, great price. There really isn't too many downsides with this one. Um, and like I said, guys, if you want to help support the channel, you could use code TOMSPARK2023 on this one to get 50% off or click the link in the description down below. So with TorGuard specifically, what we're using, I'll disconnect just to show you guys the settings. We're using their uh, ad blocking DNS and you could select that here. Make sure to check that. If you don't check it, it's not gonna really block any ads. So check that and then we're gonna be using their DNS to block ads. And let's see how effective it is compared to some of the other VPNs out there and maybe if other ones have better ad blockers. Um, so here we go. We are now clicking on that and let's see how effective it is. Um, so guys, let's see. Uh, this one was around 12% and now it's running through the test so TorGuard connected. So TorGuard actually did pretty good here, around 83% uh, blocked hosts. Some other ones were able to get through like Amazon and a couple of others as well as some social trackers, but it did block a good amount of trackers here just through their DNS, mess, um, DNS method. Uh, so not too bad. Let's go ahead and disconnect and see how some other VPNs perform. All right guys, so with Surfshark, they're really confident in their keen, clean web capabilities. Apparently it's called Clean Web 2.0. So let's go ahead and test that and see how capable it is. Let's go ahead and connect to a Seattle server. All right guys, we are now connected. So let's go ahead and check it out. So just to remind you, TorGuard got around 83% um, without anything around 12%. So let's go ahead and see how Surfshark compares. Um, it's connected as you can see here. And of course we have TorGuard disconnected as well. So let's go ahead and see the performance. Ooh, it did worse. So it blocked less, which is kind of disappointing uh, considering, you know, Surfshark does do some marketing for this clean web. All right guys, so we have let it loaded on. Let's turn on this as well. So we'll confirm that. And now let's try to, uh, well, let's first turn off Proton. Um, and we'll connect to this and see how that does, at least in the test, just to see. So we are now connecting. Um, okay, we are connected. Pretty cool uh, little extension here, actually. I kind of like that. So now we are connected. Let's run the test. Um, here we go. So let's run it again and see what the results are. So 87%. So uh, Clean Web 2.0 does seem to be better than Surfshark's Clean Web in the VPN. Here we go, threat protection. That's what it's called from NordVPN. We're gonna turn that on. Um, so looks like you have another antivirus. Um, well, actually this is more of like their antivirus, but we could turn on the light version because this is not so much of a antivirus that will kind of interfere with our current antivirus. That would be annoying. So we're gonna use a light version to kind of see how it competes. And we're gonna to connect to the closest server and see how it does. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and go back here and load up the test for Nord. After this one, we're gonna be doing Proton VPN to see how it does. All right, guys, so now we have tested out Nord VPN uh, and actually did the best, which is actually pretty cool. So Nord VPN's tracker blocker seems to be doing really well. And it's nice to see um, that it gives very good performance. So good job NordVPN. Additionally, they do seem to have kind of that more antiviral capability built into, which if you want to turn on is an extra option. So, so far NordVPN is winning. 
let's go ahead and try Proton now um, and get out of Nord. All right, guys, so we did have to upgrade our Proton VPN uh, because the free version does not let you, uh, you know, connect to the ad blocking. All right, guys, so we did need to upgrade our Proton VPN subscription uh, because it did not work on the free model, um, which kind of makes sense. Um, but again, you know, you got to be careful with the free VPNs because it just limits so many features. So it's good to see that, um, you know, at least it does have that feature. And it's kind of interesting the way it works with Proton is that you turn on here. Um, so let's do with Proton. We'll do malware ads and everything, the full thing. Unlike Nord, it didn't require me to turn off my uh, antivirus, which is nice. So it's very easy to turn on as well. I didn't have to disconnect or anything. So I really like these kind of buttons with Proton. So let's go ahead and go back to the test. All right, guys, we're going to click on it. Um, just a reminder, Nord got 85, Surfshark got 74, and Torguard got 83. So let's see how Proton does. So it got around at 80%, which is pretty good. Um, it's right behind um, Nord, um, but also behind Torguard. All right, guys, so here are the final results and they're pretty interesting, I think. We see Surfshark actually leading with an 87% effective rating with their uh, ad blocking technology, Clean Web 2.0. This is very good because I've seen them marketing it a lot as the best ad blocker from a VPN and that very well might be the case, at least from some of my tests. Um, the only downside is, is that it's actually the worst performer if you do not use the extension. So eventually they probably will update their VPN to work with the same kind of technology and we'll see pretty good results from them so far. But it is a little bit of a downside. You do have to install the extension. That said, the extension is pretty easy to use and nice to use and it's included within the subscription. So overall, pretty good. Next up, we see NordVPN at an 85% effective rating, which is pretty good for the application and the best built-in ad blocking we see from an application, which kind of does make sense because NordVPN is kind of focused on that similarly with their kind of antivirus capability both built in or at least a little bit more advanced, but it did kind of conflict with my antivirus thing on the computer. So I just used the light, but that still gave a very effective rating. Next up, we saw 83% effective rating from TorGuard, which is actually pretty good, I think, considering the price of TorGuard, the value proposition, and the ease of use, just putting it through the DNS settings. I think they do really well here, especially on mobile devices and stuff like that, and stuff like uh, Android TV and stuff like that, um, which I'm not 100% sure on some of the other ones if they work in the same kind of DNS way that TorGuard can on those devices. Um, though we do see Proton with an 80% effective rating, which is kind of low, I think, for the price proposition of Proton. Um, but I do like how they have a little bit of a switch you could toggle in the application. And I already talked, and I already talked about TorGuard. So overall, guys, those are my interesting results I've found. Um, click the links in the description down below for one of these VPNs if you decide you want to purchase one of these VPNs now. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not sponsored. This was an objective test, and I just had to find out which one of these was actually the best at it. So thanks, guys, for watching this video, and I'll see you again very soon.